Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jared'sville Vet and Podly.com. I am here with my two puppies. So this is Storm and this is Frippies in the background. They're about 10 months old. They are both rescues. Storm came from the evacuation of Hurricane Florence. When he was brought to us, he was very, very, very sick. So I got a very sick puppy who took about three months to get better. A lot of blood work, a lot of TLC, a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of worry. And then I got little Frippy here from a rescue. She had been found in a box on the side of the road at about six weeks old. She was so sick she was, um, well she was, because she was found she had to go to the shelter. The shelter had to hold her for the mandatory five day period. So she was found really weak and debilitated and then she had to go to a community shelter which almost killed her. And then she spent a week in a vet hospital trying to get better. So it was a long expensive road for her. But these are my two rescue puppies. I believe in rescue because I'm a veterinarian who sees a lot of puppies who are in need, but it can be really expensive. I know a lot of people are trying to rescue puppies. Um, the, the concern is that you really never know what you're getting. There's a lot of other kind of wives tales and folk tales that you're getting somebody else's problem or you're not getting a pure breed and then you don't know what kind of behavior stuff you're going to get and I don't really believe any of that. Um, a puppy is a puppy. Some of the breed stuff is inherent. So my little beagle loves to go running in the fields and my little storm loves to, to chase squirrels. Um, that's part of their breed, but the rest of it is what I've done and how I've raised them. They're very good, they're very sweet, and I couldn't imagine my life without them. A lot of people want to get puppies. I get it. Um, you know, they love the idea of having a puppy to bring home. I am seeing an absolute endemic number of sick puppies coming in. Most of these are puppies who have come from a rescue. They've been recently transported and then adopted out. Puppies coming from rescue really need a two week quarantine period. So someone needs to be holding them in quarantine for two weeks after they're vaccinated to make sure they're not coming up with parvo or distemper. We have seen both in the last month. One of the puppies lived, so our po parvo puppy survived, but I heard a litter of five puppies came up from the south and all of them died of distemper. Um, you know, the expense of taking care of distemper or parvo can be thousands of dollars and not all of them live. So be careful about rescue. If you're interested in rescue, find a reputable rescue. Don't just find somebody online who says there's a rescue, they are rescue because they may not be. And then ask about where these puppies came from. Ask about where the mom is. There's a mom attached somewhere and too many of the rescues just leave the mom behind to die or be euthanized which I don't think is ethically right, um, but there's a whole bunch of you know, problems behind that too. They just can't adopt out the mom, so that's another societal problem. Um, make sure they've been in quarantine for two weeks. Make sure they've been in somebody's house for two weeks. Make sure they're vaccinated, and then get that puppy to the veterinarian within three days of getting that puppy. Go over all the paperwork, go over everything. Have them revaccinated if you're not sure when the vaccine was given, or which vaccine was given, or how it was given, or who it was given by. For those of you buying a dog, I have about 10,000 people in my practice and I have two breeders that I would recommend. So two out of 10,000 is not a very big number. Lots of people are finding puppies on Craigslist. These are not breeders. These are not people who understand what needs to be done and how to keep the puppies safe. And I'm seeing a lot of those puppies come in for Parvo because they haven't been vaccinated appropriately. They have, their mom hasn't been vaccinated probably. And you know, it's a multi-thousand dollar bill for a puppy that you just got. So do some due diligence, do some research, ask some questions. If you're not sure, go to pobly.com and ask me there and I'm happy to help you. And then really try to, you know, not just listen to your heart and going and adopt a dog, but really think about what this entails and what the long-term commitment is and then what you need immediately, short-term and long-term. And that includes behavior for the first year because I see a lot of puppies who come back a year later and they just haven't been adequately socialized um, and people are making um, concessions to try to keep them out of dangerous situations, which seems to be compounding the problem. So be really careful buying a puppy. Um, I don't want to see any more parvo or distemper puppies. I don't want anyone calling me anymore saying, I just got this puppy three days ago and now it's sick and I don't have any money and I don't know what to do because it's really hard for me to navigate through that. I have a lot of information on my blog so if you go to kmdvm um, dot blogspot.com you can find it there. It's called Diary of a Real Life Veterinarian and I talk about all of these puppies in all these cases. You can find me at Jared's Phil Vet or you can go to pobbly.com and ask me a question about how to go looking for a new pet. I'm happy to help you there. Take care everybody. Enjoy your day. Say bye Storm. Frippies. Say bye Frippies. Bye everybody.